It is close to 6.20 and time now for What's Trending. Well, while the sports world is still on hold due to the COVID-19 outbreak, athletes are continuing to work on their craft. Seattle Seahawks quarterback and former Badger Russell Wilson took to social media on Tuesday to share his workout with his stepson, Future. The Super Bowl 48 champ went through stretching with the five-year-old. The two of them then hit the field for some footwork and passing drills. And it definitely looks like Russ is teaching the youngster how to be a quarterback. Wilson tweeted, bonding time, hard work with future, fun balling today, the best teammate. And young future is only five years old, but he looks to have the makings of being an athlete. His stepdad is a pretty good person to emulate in that regard. And the 31-year-old Wilson and his wife, Sierra, are expecting their third child soon. But that's so cute to see Future. And look at how good he's doing, right? Say, he's he impressive. Has, he has some pretty good footwork right there. He's really good at moving his feet. And also, too, it's just good to see him and, uh, and his dad getting out and about and just getting some fresh air during this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're exactly right. I remember all the times my dad would play baseball in the backyard or basketball. So definitely something that his stepson won't forget and always yeah. a fun time to have a bonding experience like that with your parents when you have more time to spend with them right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something to be able to share and also, um, like we said, a, a pretty good person to be learning from. I know Russell yeah. Wilson normally holds uh, football camps for young kids all across the country throughout the year. Uh, he you know, does one in Madison, I think, you know, every year, every couple years. So uh, I got to cover one of those and it was fun to see him teach those kids, but also to teach his own. Yeah, I'm sure it must be a fun accomplishment for him and also just fun, like you said, fun family bonding time. Yep. And speaking of that, one Florida family whose Disney trip got canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic, they got really creative so that their three kids would still have a fun day at home. Take a look at this. John and Gina Carlisle gave their five and two year old sons and their 10 month old daughter a special virtual day at Disney. They all got dressed up in Disney gear and wore their magic bands and they ate Mickey shaped pancakes and waffles surrounded by plush Disney friends. And then it was on to the attractions. John and Gina played YouTube videos on their TV of the sights and sounds and used their creativity to make it immersive for the kids, like this trip on Splash Mountain. Gina says that all you need is imagination, and you can create something like this for your family. Virtual Disney Day was a big hit with the kids, and no <laughs> surprise there. But it's been really fun to see how families across the country are kind of adapting to still have these stay-at-home vacations and have a good time. It's so fun. I, I <laughs> love that little virtual ride. Yeah. Um, you can just put them in a box and, you know, and boop, they're on a roller coaster. Right. So, uh, what a great idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's a workout for the parents, too. Yeah. Yeah. Shaking the box all around, <laughs> lifting them up and down. So uh, get a little fitness in, too. But I do love the ride. We're pouring the water on top of the head, so <laughs> like it's Splash Mountain or something like that. That's yeah. adorable, and I'm sure something that they'll always remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of fun there. I've been in one of the Disney groups on Facebook, actually, and one parent, they sent their kids down the stairs in the sled oh. to make it seem like a <laughs> So, yeah, some families are just going all out. Be careful if you try that at home. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Well, this next story really shows that we're all bonding together to get through this difficult time. In a heartwarming gesture, a Minnesota state trooper recently gave a doctor N95 medical masks instead of a speeding ticket. The N95 respirator mask healthcare workers need to protect themselves while treating coronavirus patients are dangerously in short supply. Dr. Sharosh Janjua is a cardiologist at the coronavirus quarantine unit in Duluth. She was pulled over by a trooper Brian Schwartz for speeding back on March 21st. Instead of a ticket, he handed the doctor five N95 masks he was supposed to use to protect himself. The doctor said the N95 masks these days are worth their weight in gold. The state patrol says Schwartz felt com compelled to offer his masks after noticing what looked like two used N95 masks in the nurse or the doctor's purse that he was assuming she was reusing. The doctor said that she burst into tears when he handed her the masks. How kind of them to do that. You know, I could imagine the fear being pulled over knowing you could be about to get a ticket and then just getting that instead. Just what a beautiful story. Exactly. Yeah, I'm sure she went through yeah, such a roller coaster of emotions, you know, yes. already being stressed out just at her current situation um, and then being pulled over. Uh, but then uh, what a, an amazing thing that he did. And I'm sure, uh, you know, it's going to be helpful to her and her coworkers too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what a great job by the officer to realize that she's at higher risk for the job that she has. So right. donating his to her is just shows a big step for him and a, and a great sign to humanity too. That's yeah. incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. 